to make kangaroo cookies. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to The Cookie Couture, where flavor and design collide. Today, I'm going to share with you how you can decorate a kangaroo cookie and also I would like to invite you to donate to help Australia. One of my best friends is from Australia. She moved from the United States to Australia uh, maybe like a year ago. I really, really love her and she has so much love for her country. I have learned so much about Australia with her. I remember when we get together to have tea, she always talked to me about her beautiful country and always she was very worried about the climate change. So we have a lot of talks regarding on how her country is and how special is the fauna and all the plants that are just particularly from Australia. But for now, I know that they are having a very hard time. And this is the first time that I ask you if you want to donate for something because I think so that they really need it and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the story on how I get these cookie cutters. Most of my cookie cutters have a story behind them. Later on I will start to share those histories with you. One day I found this little package outside my door and I saw, oh it comes from Australia. So I was so excited to open it and there were these little uh, cookie cutters and a beautiful card from my friend Megan and uh, I said, oh I'm so excited, I'm gonna make Make kangaroo cookies but, but I never knew when I was gonna make these cookies so one day she told me oh kangaroo day is coming so maybe you can make the cookies for that day and the day was already gone so I think so that this is the perfect time for me to share this tutorial and also please donate I will leave you a link in the description box below but you can donate any way you want it doesn't have to be through the link that I'm gonna post however you can help them it will be so nice I am ready to start with this tutorial very good I am ready to take out the tags of my cookie cutter I'm gonna give them a wash and then I'm gonna cut the cookies aren't they cute? look at these <laughs> These are going to be a little tricky because of the tail, but the temperature of your cookie dough is always very helpful. Okay, so, squeeze, I'm going to take it out, I'm going to transfer it to my baking sheet. Very good. For difficult parts like the tail, I like to use a wood stick. And if the wood stick make a little dent on your cookie, you just need to press it so it doesn't affect the shape of your cookie. And also, if you dip your cookie with quarters in flour, it will be very helpful and it will be easier for you to cut out these kind of cookie quarters that have very intricate parts. Now I'm going to bake them at 350 for 10 to 13 minutes. Please click the link above to see how to make royal icing. For these cookies, I prepare floating consistency icing in white and also in a shade of brown. For that shade of brown, I use equal parts of orange and brown food gel color. First, I put a little bit of white icing. And then I cover all the rest of the cookie with the brown icing. I use the toothpick technique with white icing to make the eye. And then I let dry the cookie completely to make the leg later on. I also make a white kangaroo.
And for the white kangaroo, I used edible markers to decorate it. 